it's just a whole different feel out here. It's a beautiful day and it's it's beautiful in a different way than it's beautiful in New Jersey. I can't help but think how nice it would be to live in this area with a nice slow pace and memories of earlier times. So in case you're wondering if there's a traffic jam, there is. I'm sure it's much smaller than it was. 50 years ago. There's some cute little stores around here, a lot of tie-dye. And uh, turns out you gotta get in this line and get a parking pass. I'm very fortunate that somebody gave me a ticket, otherwise I'm not sure what I would do, because I thought I could at least get close, and I wouldn't want to just turn around at this point and go back home. Um, although I see some stores, I guess I could always go shopping. <laughs> to mean potential sunflowers it's always a welcoming sight I'll read it for you ticks and <laughs> no I can't read it need ticket ticks and tag needed to enter so they were really prepared you know I just figured this out this is a dairy farm like, okay so here's the thing these people are used to herding cattle so that's what they're doing with us. They're like herding us. And hey, it's no accident that one of these major roads is called Herd Road. So like they're herding us like cattle. And no, I didn't drop any LSD before this trip. The lines aren't that bad. I'm not going to complain. Hello. People seem like they're pretty friendly around here. Okay, so this is this really well-organized checkpoint, and I'm going to go and get my pass, and I don't know, I mean, I would find something to do, but um, I wouldn't be here if I wasn't able to go to the show tonight, and wouldn't it be nice if the travel pass could last all weekend? I don't know if I'll be able to come back tomorrow because my car's giving me trouble. It was nice to see a guy sitting on a horse. I keep like expecting to see Max somewhere, but he would be like 99 if he was still alive. Um, uh, oh my, well this is interesting. Okay, they've got like three lanes. Uh, they're so well organized, like for just in case like millions and millions came out, you know? And I think like there should have been millions and millions of people. That would have been cool. I mean, that would have been groovy and sticking with the vernacular. Okay, I've got my travel pass. Now I'm going down this mystic herd road that they traveled on so many years ago. And I'm not sure how long it is. It's much more beautiful than I thought. When I tried to look at it through Google Maps, I couldn't really see. It feels as beautiful as it looks. I told you, but Ringo Starr is playing tonight. That's a big attraction. And I guess it would have been smart to be here all day. I started out the day with a headache, so. <laughs> I, I wanted to see the monument. I'm to, yeah, I'm going down to see the monument, and then I'll come back up. I, I wanted to see it in the daytime. Hmm, yeah, see, I have this. You just can't park right by the monument, though. I'm just going to take a picture and then leave. Right, As you're driving okay. by, but if you get out and stuff, the, the guards are going to stop you because you need okay. a monument ticket. Oh, I yeah. see. Okay, thank you. Whatever. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is really cool. This is great. Um, so that's the hill. I didn't know it was like that. Like, kind of uphill. And people are just hanging out right in the middle of the hill. Like they did back in the day. That's really cool. Can you see that? That yeah, like everybody's just hanging out in the middle of the hill, kind of celebrating. It's so cool. The music sounds great too. So that's where I'm gonna be going in a second. Okay, so this is the original flower child. Is that right? Yes, it was right. <laughs> um, you probably weren't even born yet. Or yeah, you were I was. 
You were one. I wasn't allowed to go. You weren't allowed to go? How old were you? I was 10 years old when, yeah. Oh yeah? Can't go when you're 10. You were 10 too? Yeah. Uh, well, did you see anything on television or? No, I don't think they televised it. No, so what, what'd you do? They you just, oh, you found out later. after like everybody right. else. They had a movie here later. Yeah. So, you know, rock and roll is a big part of our lives. Yeah, I, I hear ya. I'd say about 50 concerts together. Oh yeah? Least. Have you seen Ringo Starr before? Yeah. <laughs> one year was ten. We saw twelve concerts in one year. I, I, oh my gosh, you guys are crazy! Yeah. And you got your camera too. Yeah. Okay, what are you on? <laughs> this is peace of love, baby. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I'm walking on the grass, trying to get to where I'm going. There's some stuff up there. The field's way back there. Um, a whole bunch of cars. I don't know where all these people are, though. We grew up in the 60s, and we were used to being able to be free. And uh, we bought our tickets from Ticketmaster. First of all, they didn't say we needed to get a tag to park, so we had to go get a tag to park. It may be Ticketmaster's fault. Hmm. And then we went in there, and they said this pocketbook was too big to take in. Mm -hmm. It's pretty small. So mm -hmm. I took all my stuff out. They were going to take it and throw it away, and they said, well, you can go back to your car, and I'm like, I don't want to go back to my car. I know, it's really far. I bought tickets, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm don't break, don't slam not it. Not so good seats. <laughs> mm -hmm. And nobody told me this, and they were mean to us, and they said, oh, you need to chill out, and I was like, no, we don't. Somebody actually said that to you? It's like when you think about 50 years mm -hmm. ago, mm -hmm. how wonderful it was. And it's not yeah, their fault. It's, frustrating. it's not those people's fault. But they got me out of this because we were upset. And it's like, well, we should be upset. Hmm. You know, it's just I don't know. to change. Anyway, I it's almost like it'll change. never be the same, you know. I thought, like, I, I had hopes of, like, all these wonderful people coming out and freedom and love and people dancing the way they did in the video and everything and but you know what i think is like if somebody told ringo that people were being like mm. sent away because of that i think he would be very upset and it's not anybody's fault it's just the way it is and it's got to change amen i mean that's why we're here yeah right hoping hoping to make a change I can <laughs> Whoever doesn't mind being on camera, it's, it's just a small it's a, audience. I mean, if you're going to put it on YouTube, you should really go speak to somebody and yeah, we're, we're market not it. To speak on of the you're not allowed to. No. Okay. So this is what it looks like on the inside. That's a famous field over there. Is this the field over here where all the um, yeah, all the hippies were? That's it. Field. Okay. You don't mind being on YouTube? Uh, sure. <laughs> yeah, so this was the original field. There's actually a there's a grass peace sign uh, that they light up at night. Oh really? Okay, so I'll look for that. Thank that you. <laughs> Were you guys here at the original Woodstock? Uh, no. No, you weren't. I remember, no. No, I don't remember it. <laughs> I guess people want to take their picture here, whether they were there or not. I'm having a hard time finding some of the originals. I'll keep looking, though. I'll find one. I'm looking at some of the clothes people are wearing. Where in the world did that come from? This guy must be one of the coolest people here. I'm gonna see if I can get him to talk to me. A year and four months when it all happened. But I would have been here if I could. Yeah. <laughs> uh, real fast. Uh, in 69, I had uh, a year before I got out of the army, I enlisted in the army. I was 21 years old. I came here with my girlfriend. I asked her father the permission to bring her on a three-day outing. Mm. He said absolutely no. <laughs> we went outside, we both at the same time said, let's go. Uh. We got on the motorcycle, that's the only way we made it here. We spent uh, uh, three days in between the two speaker things in the front of the stage. That's where we were, in the middle, right in the center of the stage. Oh. Never left for three days. So you're probably in some of the films we see. Yes. Yeah, we actually, yeah. Actually, we are. There's oh, okay. That doesn't matter. Uh, what no. matters is uh, my girlfriend and I during the rainstorm. 
You were in the rainstorm? It, it was a terrible rainstorm, lightning and thunder. We slept together in one sleeping bag. <laughs> we made love and said that if we ever get married somewhere down the road and we ever have a girl, we're going to name her after that performer that just played for us in the rain, acoustically yeah. named Melanie. Oh. Ah. Uh -huh. A year later, in 70, we got married. In 72, my daughter was born. Oh, Melanie. Oh, oh that's a tattoo. Okay. And the name is my daughter, and the name above is my ex-wife, who unfortunately has passed. But I'm sorry. I'm here for the spirit of everything. And what is your name? My name is Charlie Cox. Charlie. Yeah. Okay. And if I'm looking for you in one of the videos, how will I know? Do you remember what you were wearing? It's going to be tough. Uh, uh, okay. It's going to be tough. Because uh, every time I see it now, I'm going to be like, where's Charlie? No, it, it, it's as John Sebastian is singing, you'll never recognize John Sebastian. me because I was with the, uh, my girlfriend and a, a, a couple <laughs> oh, of... Oh, that's okay. Who's this wonderful lady? My girlfriend now, Mary. Oh, hi. It was a great feeling, a great vibe. Yes. And no one I ever agree. knew. Years later, anybody be here. You never knew what was happening, but it happened. And yeah, you said, you that's know what? how it is. Maybe we have an idea with music. Yes. Maybe it's, maybe it's Are you enjoying yourself here today? Of course. Yeah, great. It's good to see you. Thank you. So I finally found my friend. This is the most it's been like Woodstock so far. It's really fun. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pull all of them. There is a lot of hot in the air, and there's people hitting beach balls around and um, there's a lot of really great energy. And I'm trying not to trip over anybody. Do you know these people? No. Just, just, just here. Yeah, yeah. Good. How are you doing? <laughs> this is for my YouTube channel. Are you okay with it? Okay. <laughs> you probably weren't old enough to be in like the original Woodstock. I was 15. Oh yeah? I didn't come. I, my older brother and cousin were maybe going to come. Okay. They got to come, which they didn't, then I'd have been here. But they didn't get to go in. Okay. You remember it, though. You remember oh, yeah. the time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember the people going, because we lived not terribly far away. Oh, really? You live close by? Well, uh, in New Jersey, but it's been 50 miles. But people were coming by where we lived. You could see the bands. On the oh, really? You could see the bands going past? Yeah. Oh, really? You just saw that all around. How, where are you from? New Jersey. Northern New Jersey. Northern Jersey. Okay. I live in Old Bridge, New Jersey. Okay. So, you got anything to say? You're Not used to really, being on no. camera. I, get, ask me a question. <laughs> oh, I got to ask you some questions. Sure. Okay. Uh, are you having a good time? And, yeah, an awesome time, yeah. Oh, really? Is, yeah. Oh, it's great. This is the yeah. funnest it's been for me so far. Yeah. So. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Hello. Do you want to be this, on camera? This, you know what? This guy has a good, has some good uh, Woodstock stories. Actually, he was telling me. Earlier. What's your name, by the way? Bob. Have a great time. A lot of people. All good people. Yeah. Everybody's very mellow. Real nice. Yeah. Well, that wouldn't have anything to do with the pot that I'm smelling. Not at all. Really. No, that wouldn't make anybody mellow. <laughs> It's legal now, I think. It's legal in New York. In New York it's legal in Canada. It's legal in Canada. Canada right? It's legal to take it across the border. Oh, so. uh, <laughs> did you try? Sure. Sure. <laughs> um, this is beautiful up here. I wouldn't mind living it in really this area. Is. It's beautiful. A lot of people here right now. In the winter, it's dead. Oh, I bet it is. Why? So, Why? but in the winter, they're still open. No. Very few shows. Nothing okay. really. It's it's. Dead. I'll come back. It's not that far. I'll have another car next time. But I tell you, I've been in the area so long since I was a little kid. Yeah. I used to come up to my grandmother's cabin, and I was at the original Woodstock the day after, the Monday afterwards, and it was crazy. On Sunday, the previous Sunday, I could hear Jimi Hendrix playing. You weren't and here, I, but you could hear that? I was 13 years old when the original Woodstock was okay. going on. How did you hear Jimi Hendrix? We were in a bungalow, probably half a mile, well, about five miles from here. And early in the morning, I could hear him playing. That's amazing. Beautiful thing. Early in the morning is like, what, two in the morning? No, I'm talking like seven o'clock in the morning, he was playing. Okay. Thank you. Monday.
Sunday we came up here and it was like everybody was gone. Sleeping bags all over, mud. It was, it was a really good experience. Oh yeah. 13 year old kid. Did you help clean up? Not at all. <laughs> we went through the sleeping bags to get some change. Ah, uh, you're kidding. Did you really do that? I would have done the same thing. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. This is the Edgar Winter Band. Is Edgar Winter right there? This is Edgar Winter. He's a, he's a, That's I can miss his album. Oh yeah, I've seen album yeah. covers, yeah. <laughs> Maybe your son will have it. You can be in it too if you want. I mean, you're probably going to be famous, right? Yeah, he's yeah, what, what, uh, by him, so I, yeah, there I you go. <laughs> Are you like a singer or a guitar He's player? A guitar singer player. Write music too? Okay, I do too. I write Christian music. But. Yeah. So um, you got a good buddy that plays Christian rock. Oh really? Big time. Won't play anything but. Oh okay. Awesome. Blues. Are you guys from New York? You live in New York? No. Indianapolis. <laughs> okay. Oh, you came from a long distance. She lives in Illinois. I live, I live Illinois? in the tip okay. of the Ozarks now, down by the lake. That's awesome. What's your name? I'm Sharon Ferguson. Sharon. Am I the first one to interview you? No. I didn't think so. How many other people have there been? Uh, two. Okay, so that's I've awesome. I've been recently interviewed by Jonathan, don't remember his last name, <laughs> okay. but his dad did the original Woodstock film. Ah. Yeah. So, I might have been in it. I couldn't find myself. Okay. Yeah. So, so what, I, was, what was it like back then? Muddy. Yeah. <laughs> I was 16. You were 16? I was 16. Oh, wow. And well, would we see you in the movies? Like, would we be able to find you? I don't know. Go I look like every other 16 year old yeah. girl. Long, blonde, straight hair. Yeah. Skinny. friends here? No, I came with five other people and I'm the only one living. All the rest of them. So there were three guys and they all got drafted to Vietnam and didn't come back. Oh my gosh. And my so other two female friends have passed away. So oh. I'll be 67 in four days. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> yeah. And so well, I'm, you look just, fantastic. I'm just excited to be here. My family did not know where I was. Did, your family didn't know where you were? No. Did you meet Max? <laughs> What's that? Did you meet Max? Yeah. Max no, Yeager? No, because he, he, he made people write letters to their parents. Yes. To let them know where they were. I did not. We did not get here till Saturday afternoon and 50 years ago. Okay. And so I was one of six and we made our trip here and I'm the only one left. Okay. okay. Yay! <laughs> and what is your first name? Jake. Jake, and you said Max is your uncle. Jake Yasker. Holy wow. smokes! Okay. I, I think so he's I just a wonderful come to the guy. Concert, but I could work on the farm the summer before. Okay. Did you help prepare everything? Oh no, no. It, it no? wasn't even thought of in '68. Right, right. That's right. when I was born. I was born yeah. in '68. What do you remember about Max? He was a great guy. Yeah, he I believed, can tell. He believed in this country. He believed in the youth of America. He might not have agreed with everything that was going on, but he knew That's that we heard. were going to carry the mantle for mm -hmm. the country going forward. And if he couldn't support the youth of America, who could he support? They were the mm -hmm. ones that were going to take over 
and you know, He's built a smart continue guy. to smart guy, honest guy, fair guy. What was he like as an guy. uncle? Have you been to him? No, I thought he made sure that his uh, pug named Jake woke me up at four o'clock every morning and yeah. got me out in the fields. <laughs> I worked uh, every day. So Jake hard. woke you up. What's that? Jake woke you up. The dog. Jake, the dog woke me up. Yeah. So he He's had him well trained. Guy. What's that? He had him well trained. Yes. Jake. Yeah. And I heard he somewhere, was... I heard Sam. Sam would be your dad or? No, no, no. Sam was a uh, cousin. Sam was, Sam was his son. My your cousin. Your cousin, Sam. Right. Okay. Sam, so Sam would, he, Max actually had two children, but you would never know it because he never, he disowned his daughter. That's a bad story. It mm. was, you know, fit we the all times. Got that it stuff. wouldn't have yeah. fit today's times. Okay. Sam was an attorney in, in New York, worked for the district attorney's office, very well respected guy. And, um, you know, all I can say is that, you know, for him to have done this was mm. a natural for him. Yeah. Great guy. Yeah, he was a, a part of it for sure. Oh yeah. Oh, so. it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for him because they were kicked out of Woodstock. Right. Th they were kicked out of Woodstock. Yeah. You said? Oh, yeah, that's the, right. The original. Yeah, they weren't. They were right. So he their opened. Their permit was this. taken away, so they weren't able to have the concert there. I was thinking he would be 99 if he was still alive. Wouldn't he? Would he would be about because he was 49. I don't, I don't really. He died in 72, but I don't really remember how old. He was. Somebody he said he was 49. Like he was a 49 year old no, man no, people no. could relate to. He no? was older. Older than that. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah you know what? I thought he looked older than that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I, I read I'd somewhere. Say he was like, about uh, my father's age. So they were pretty close in age. And my father was born in 1919. I bet, right. bet oh, wow. uh, Max was born in 1918 or 1920. Is your father still alive? Oh, no. No. no they all died young. Oh, yeah. They all young. died young. They okay. smoked. Max, Max <laughs> smoked cigars and pipes yeah. and inhaled both of them, okay? Okay. <laughs> Brushed his teeth with scotch. Okay. okay that's oh, Max did, huh? Yeah, okay, all right. Guy, all right? Uh, we all got something. Yeah. <laughs> it's so nice to talk to you. What was your first name again? I know I got it on tape. It's actually, it's Jacob, but everybody knew me as Jake. So your name's Bill, and yeah. this is your wife? Her. No, that's my sister. Sister? Okay. But I wasn't there. You weren't there? I was there? only 12 years old. Okay. I was like w one and a half. I was 17. 17? Yeah, I walked across the Cape yeah. Bridge, put my thumb out to get here. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. And I got here. And someone just picked you up and brought you? Well, the first car I pulled over was the Lincoln Continental, and he drove me as far as he could. <laughs> and then I got out and started walking again, and somebody else picked me up mm -hmm. and drove me a little further. And like I said, but I had to work the first two days. All my friends came earlier, yeah. But I had to work. So. So you had to work so you couldn't get here earlier. But you right. you were here for the last day, Sunday. Yeah. Right. I walked up at the end. Okay. <laughs> when the rain all stopped. Jimmy so. had to explain the Star Spangled You band. saw that? I heard it. Oh, awesome. It was awesome. Awesome. And then I ran to some friends of mine that were living right where I was. And I got to ride back Ringo home. To say. Wow. That's, that's my story. You're a Christian, you're here yes. with your, your brother. And this is a very special thing. Yeah. To God be is, here for me. 50 God is years love, right? Later. Yeah, yeah. So, but you've been here last year too. Yeah, I right? saw Don Henley here last year. In okay, oh, I love show. him. And I was in the theater for that, and it was great. Um, I think of Woodstock as love, and I always think of God as God is love, right? And peace too, right? Half a million too, right? people got together, and it was peaceful. Right. No right. violence. Right. It was real. Do you think you think it's kind of like biblical in a way? Yes. You I know. Do. I do. Yeah, me too. Me Spiritual, too. for sure. Do you do you read the Bible? Yes, I yeah? do. Okay, cool, awesome. Because the Bible says God is love, so that's how that's I look what, at it. That's what God is, love. Yeah. That's what Jesus told us. That's right. We that's just right. have to love each other, and everything would be great. And we wouldn't have any, all the trouble in the world and everything that we have. Right. And even the Beatles said it. Right. As right. a band. And that's right, why I'm did. here to see Ringo, because he's one of the last Beatles I get to that's see. That's right. That's awesome. It was great to talk to you. Thank it you was so great much. Great talking to you too. We call Sorry. Freedom Rock. Freedom what? Freedom Rock. Freedom Rock. That's okay. 
And you were stuck on the New York Freeway. New York freeway. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so I went to the 40th. You went to the 40th? Okay. Like, well, 10 I years said, ago. Yeah. Okay. I said I had to come back for the 50th. I started by myself Friday. Friday. Okay. And I said, what am I doing? I got to go back and get some friends. Yeah. <laughs> so about to fill up the car, it took till Saturday. It took till Saturday. You started on Friday, it took till Saturday. So yeah, you drove all night? Oh, to get the friends together. Yeah. So what did you say to your friends to convince them to come out to Woodstock? I said, hey, something's happening. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it sounds good. Let's go. Yeah. And I wish I did go around, but that was part of it. Where did you sleep that night? We, I, I went, I went back to my hometown. That went back home, okay. But you guys kind of had fun on the road. Oh, well, right? we, yeah. We started out and I was doing a buck 20 on the highway. Mm -hmm. On the radio said, New York freeway is closed. We all uh, laughed <laughs> because they knew we were flying. Yeah, right, that's a good joke. All of a sudden, so far up ahead. Oh, they weren't they weren't joking. That was uh, miles away. Wow. So there's a lot of people that there were a lot of people here, but there were even more that didn't come that were yeah. trying to get here. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. that's pretty cool. Uh, but if where I had did you started live? Friday and by myself, mm, I would be Oh uh, yeah, yeah. But I Well it was kind of a disaster though, really. You know, it was uh, probably at the time they didn't know, you know, it was, it was raining, they were probably kinda of miserable and you know. Yeah. We remember the good stuff. Oh yeah. But uh, of I'm sure you had fun with your friends too. So Oh yeah. Where were you coming from? Massachusetts. Massachusetts, okay, cool. I was in Michigan, I was a year and four months old. They wouldn't let me go. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't make it. I decided to go see as many groups that were originally there. So they play, so he played but Janice and Hendrix died when I was in the service. I was going to say, have you seen Janice yet? <laughs> she died when I was yeah. in the service. Well, you were, so you were in the service too? Yeah. Were you in, in Vietnam? In the 70, I got drafted. Okay. Did you go to Vietnam? No. I got orders three times. And what'd you do? You didn't go. And what's that? That's the people I've seen in concert live. Oh, awesome. Have you have you seen everyone yet that you could see? No, so no like who's I said, left? Jonathan. Uh, oh, it's Jonathan, you got tonight. Yeah. Right? But, okay. No, no, I've seen him before. Okay. Janice and Hendrix died when I was in the service, so I couldn't okay. see them. Okay. So I've seen it with more than half of them before they passed. Okay. Awesome. So you were both there? Yes. Yeah? It was wonderful. And you tried to meet up there? Yeah. Yes, but we had the, three separate cars going. You had three cars? Where did you come from? We went three cars from the Boston area. Boston? Okay. And we never met the three cars, never met any. Each car didn't meet the other two at all. Oh, <laughs> well, I guess not. There were so many people. <laughs> but you, you, um, Slid in the mud and everything too. <laughs> yep, it was very nice mud. Oh, it was. It sounds like clean mud. Very smooth. beautiful little touches. They've really put a lot into this. It's really gorgeous. I would strongly recommend coming out sometime to visit. My battery is so close to that I don't even know why it's working anymore. But that was amazing. God works in mysterious ways. I um, I love that show. I just wanted to capture it, and I think I did a little bit. But I was sitting there thinking, oh my gosh, in a week from now, it's just going to be a dark... I know, isn't it macabre? But that's how I think. And um, it's just going to be cold, and no one's going to be sitting there. It's going to be all clean. And it, it breaks my heart, but it was just so beautiful. And I got to talk to so many people that were there at the time 50 years ago and it's just all just really good feelings.